Qué día tan bonito. It's a beautiful day. And we are gonna go, what do you think? Plan shopping. And I'm here because I wanna look for a gift for the host home where I'm staying at. Um, they've been amazing to me and I've really gotten to know them better. They're telling me they love plants. Um, they just moved to this area, so they don't have a lot of plants. So uh, they have a nice pool and I want to find something that will be nice for their outside lane and patio pool area. So let's go check it out and I'm just here to see what's new. At Home Depot, we might stop at a few more other stores, so stay tuned. Let's go. It was incredible. I think it was called Sunset. Remember? Hibiscus. I would love to find that. plants but this is great for outdoor patio areas and I was looking at this and I think it's really pretty for my parents house. It's at one forty nine and it used to be two forty nine and it just the black and white is really really pretty. Very clean cut for a small little patio. I like it. I like it a lot and it can get wet. So that's good. I'm having fun here is looking at plants and normally I do not write for a Lowe's like this guava Barbie pink tree that's pretty it's hardy in zones 9 through 11 and two back in North Carolina I'm in zone 8 uh, but I'm just thinking this as a gift this is a very nice sized tree uh, yeah so good I love guavas I love tropical fruit there's a papaya tree here so pretty I'm leaving here, heading to the next store. I'm gonna compare everything and make sure I buy what I really wanna buy. Let's go. Arriving to Walmart, let's see what they have in the plant section. This is a beautiful Walmart. So I'm excited, let's go. We have a lot of beautiful global greens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the global green. It could be the lemon meringue because they look so much alike. They have a lot of water. Global pothos. Global green pothos. We have a little bit of everything. Global green pothos. We have the Monstera Peru. We have the Silver uh, silver Dragon allocation. We have the Baltic blue pothos, some beautiful uh, raven tzis, the uh, little swiss, and this one that I always forget the name, Geo. Okay, let's keep searching, see if we can find some other goodies. This is a really, really pretty different vacuum, right? I looked at it too. It doesn't have the name. Different vacuum, 996 by Costa Farms. Very pretty. Um, very pretty plant, yeah. 
What is its name? Do you guys know? I'm sure some of you guys know. Let me know. I I just own one different Bakia. Yeah, it's not one of the genus that I own a lot, but that one that one got my attention. Very pretty looking. We've talked about these. There's the Santa Stama, Canadian, and Bonima. Very pretty. We definitely have a nice selection of cactuses and succulents. And like I said, Florida is known for that, where they cultivate a lot of them and then sell them to other to other the st stores throughout the United States. I see California and Florida being the two ones. Wow, that's a nice big one. Wow. So pretty. I haven't seen these in North Carolina. $15.97. Okay, guys. So I'm looking at these fruit trees because, again, we don't have these in North Carolina. So this is another guava plant. And this one's $39.97. It's a Taiwanese guava, but what's so cool is this one's already going to start giving fruit. Ah, I would take you home so much if I could keep you alive. Oh, that's what I hate about living in zones that freeze. It's fun to see, you know, to have a plant that gives you fruit would be amazing. And I know we can have some, like, we, in North Carolina we can have apple trees, peach trees, so... According to where you live, right? Thanks, Shai Beautiful. I remember when we had one of these. Remember? It, it never flowered for us, but look at that beautiful flower. It's like a succulent type. It's really, really pretty. I had it indoors and it didn't do that great indoors. I think it needed more light. This is the name of it. Dorothyanthus. And it says part sun. Interesting. 1498. Oh, this is a pretty plant. This is a really, really pretty plant. Okay guys, that is it. That was my scan of these three cool stores. Um, honestly, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> this hibiscus that I wanted to buy for my friends. I think it might be the Hawaiian one. I don't know too much, but all I know is that I saw this in one of the lows and I didn't pick it up. And now I wanted it for my friends. And these three stores didn't have it. But now Walmart did have a perennial. Did we even record it? I don't know if I recorded it, but Walmart had a perennial one. Remember I was looking for one for my house, one that would be uh, tolerate cold temperatures? Well, I did find one that's good in zones one through 10, and I didn't pick it up, but I think we're gonna have to go pick it up because that's pretty cool that they, you know, I can plant them outside and it's gonna be able to come back next year versus most tropical hibiscus will not do that. They'll die off if I leave them out in the winter. So I think that's something else that I thought that was cool that um, I'm learning about. But I did not find any more white nights. That was another thing I wanted to see if I found more with more variegation. But um, yeah, it seems like when they get to a certain store, they're gone and there's not too many. So if you ever find a white knight and you're looking for one, I would say get it because you might not find it again, at least for now. But anyway, it was fun seeing all these beautiful plants and enjoying this beautiful area. Have a great day, bye.